So plan for the video folks, I'm gonna show you guys six different knots that you can use to attach your leader to your lead core trolling line. And all these knots I've used at some point over the past 12 years, and I've used these for at least a season. And there's six knots that I'm really confident in that if I went out tonight and trolled that they'd work flawlessly. All right, so we're gonna get right into this guys. Some of these knots I'm gonna be showing you with this high visibility Power Pro. Only reason being is uh, it'll probably show up a little better on camera. And I use this Seaguar Red Label 100% fluorocarbon for my leaders. I love this stuff. It's strong, it's durable, and it basically disappears underwater. Um, so this is my go-to for my uh, trolling leader. And we're gonna get right into the first one here, guys. This first knot I'm gonna show you is about as easy as you can get. We're gonna go from lead core to a swivel to your leader. About as easy as you can get. All right, so the second knot I'm gonna show you is a overhand loop to an overhand loop knot. All right, so for this knot, what you do is you take the sheathing of the lead core and you pull that down so you expose the lead. And you want about four inches of this. And this stuff breaks really easy, it's really brittle. Just kind of pinch it, move it back and forth, and it breaks off, no problem. Then you take your sheath, you push it up, straighten everything out so it's nice and even and you're left with just the sheath um, and that's what we're going to use to tie a knot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a really small overhand knot nothing fancy it's just a simple overhand knot and I'm going to try to make this as small as I can just so it's a little more streamlined just a very small overhand knot nothing fancy I'm just going to take this so I can tighten it down Okay, so there's the first half of it. It's just a simple overhand knot. And now what we're gonna do is the same exact thing to our leader. And what we're gonna do is the exact same knot, just a really simple overhand knot. And again, I'm gonna try to make this as small as I can. I'm gonna pull this up, just like that. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm gonna tighten both. Trim the tag end. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lead core loop and our leader loop. And the leader loop is going through the lead core loop. We're gonna drop that down. And we're gonna take the lure end of the leader and we're gonna bring this through the loop that we made at the other end of the leader. And we're gonna pull this down onto the lead core loop, just like that. And we're gonna Make sure the knot goes through, and now we're gonna tighten them onto each other. It's as easy as that. Two loops, you get a nice connection, it's nice and sturdy, it won't go anywhere. This is a knot you can do on the water, no problem. Um, it's certainly one of the easier knots. All right, so the third knot I'm gonna show you is a lead core, that same loop that we had in the last knot. This is just a simple overhand knot. Going to, I believe, what is called a fisherman's knot for the leader. It's very streamlined, it goes through the guides really easy. Um, very easy to tie in the water and it's a good strong functional knot. All right, so we have that same overhand loop and what we're going to do with our leader is we're going to take our leader, we're going to take the tag end and we're going to do one overhand knot, but we're not going to tighten it up all the way. We're going to leave a small loop like that. All right, so we're going to take the tag end and that's going to go through the lead core loop and now I'm going to pinch both with my fingers and I'm going to take the tag end and I'm going to wrap up the leader about five or six times. Now we're going to take the tag end and I'm going to put the tag end through that loop we made earlier. And I'm going to pull the tag end to start cinching it down and we're going to start giving it a little bit of a pull away from the lead core and what I'm going to do is just kind of alternate. So I'm going to pull from the tag end, I'm going to pull from the lure end. Okay, so we're going to take the tag end and I'm gonna put that in a pair of pliers. I'm gonna take the lure end, I'm gonna tighten that up nice and tight. I'm gonna give it one final tighten. It's locked in solid. And there's another strong, easy, functional knot that'll give you plenty of strength when you're out there trolling. All right, next knot, guys, is what's called a nail knot. And what you need for this is you either need a nail, this is a bait sewing needle, or you need a nail knot tool. Um, the nail knot tool works really good. There's a bunch of videos online on how to use this, but in this video, I'm gonna show you this just because it's a little more difficult. 
All right, so for the nail knot, I have already taken the lead out of the sheath. So that's just all, all sheath right there. I got my bait sewing needle. I'm gonna put my lead core on top of that. And I'm gonna go up onto the lead a little further because I'm gonna work my knot down onto the sheath afterwards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about an eight to 10 inch tag end and I'm gonna pinch that between my fingers. And what I'm trying to do is create a loop with my leader, which you can see right here. So I'm gonna pinch that with my fingers and I'm gonna take my tag end and I'm gonna wrap this on the needle on top of the leg core and on top of the actual leader itself. And what I'm gonna shoot for is about eight wraps. I think that's five, six, seven, eight. And this finger will just block in the wrap so they don't move. Now this next part is gonna be hard for me to show you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tag end and I'm gonna run this along my sewing needle, but under the wraps that I just made. And I apologize, I know you guys can't see this. So I'm gonna push this through. Okay, so here's my tag end. And I'm gonna pinch the wraps. And I'm gonna take this tag end and I'm gonna put it through that loop that I created. Just like that. So that's through the loop. And I'm gonna take the lure end and I'm gonna tighten that up onto the tag end. Just like that. So now that you've done that, what you can do is you can slack up a little bit on the knot because you tightened everything up. All right, so there's the start of our nail knot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this to the end of the nail. And what I like to do is I like to take the tag end and I like to pull this off quick. If you go slow, these are gonna kind of unravel and look a little messy. And then you gotta use your fingernail to fine tune them again. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna get a good hold on it. I'm gonna pull it quick, just like that. Probably not focusing well because GoPros don't focus. But that is a near perfect nail knot. I don't have to touch that. All right, so now that we have our knot pretty well tight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this down onto the sheath. Right here where my fingernail is, that's where the lead core stops. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go nice and slow so we don't shoot it off the end of the lead core. And I'm gonna try to stop this right where that lead core stops. And now we're into our final tightening. So I'm gonna do a hand tighten. My tag end's a little short. So I'm gonna use some pliers to tighten them too. And now I'm gonna take the leader and the lead core and I'm gonna tighten. And that locked in nice and tight. And now we're just gonna trim the tag ends. All right, so there you have the finished nail knot. It's nice and streamlined. It's solid, it's durable, it's easy to tie and I've never had one of these fail. I do suggest practicing this several times before you actually fish it because if you don't have this knot dialed in um, and you put a lot of tension on it um, and it doesn't tighten down right, you can have this slip off. But as you can see, like, I mean, I'm, I'm hauling on that and it's not moving. This is definitely one of my favorites and this is one of the better running knots that goes through your guides. All you feel is just a tick or two as it's going through your first couple guides. Um, so there you have it, on to the next one. All right guys, so here's the next knot. It looks almost identical to the nail knot. This is another easy streamlined knot that goes through your guide super easy. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't remember the name of this knot to save my life. I thought it was a uni knot, but it's not the uni knot. So if you guys know what this is by how I tie it, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. All right, so just like all the other knots, gonna back the sheathing off. I'm only gonna pull the lead about an inch and a half or two inches out. I'm gonna snap that off. Pull the sheathing out. I'm gonna start up on the lead a little bit and then work the knot down. So we're gonna take about an eight inch section. I'm gonna pinch with my fingers, which is gonna create a loop. And we're gonna do about seven to eight wraps up. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna take this tag end and we're gonna go through this loop that we created. And I'm gonna pull that just till it starts to get tight. Add a little bit of moisture. I'm gonna pull from the lure end a little, then I'm gonna pull from the tag end. And I'm just gonna keep working that back and forth that same way till these are all nice and neat, nice and snug. And then I'll slide it down till its final position there. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna slide this down nice and easy, just to where that lead core stops. And we're gonna tighten this down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take the tag end and the lure end, I'm gonna tighten them too. And I'm gonna take the lure end and the lead core, I'm gonna slowly give that a final tighten so it compresses. And that is locked in perfect. All right, so there you have it. There's another streamline, easy to tie knot that's going to run through your guides. You're barely going to feel it. All you're going to feel is just a tick or two as it's going through the first couple guides. Um, this is one of my favorite knots to do. It's very similar to the nail knot, but you don't need any tools. And I find this is far faster than the nail knot. So we're at the last and final knot, which happens to be my favorite. And it is a three overhand knotting system. I don't know the name of this knot. I've never seen the name of it. So if you happen to know the name of this knot, uh, put a comment down in the comment section. But all this is, is three overhand knots. You take the lead out, take your, your leader, your fluorocarbon, put it in the sheath, and you tie three overhand knots. It's strong, it's durable. I'll show you guys how I tie it. So from that 90 degree, that's all sheathing. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fluorocarbon, and this fluorocarbon is gonna go in the actual sheath where the lead was. And I'm gonna push this till I feel it contact the lead. So I felt a pretty firm ending there, so I know I'm contacting the lead, which is right here. So the important part with this is you wanna keep a pinch on this so this line doesn't slide out. Anytime you see me reposition, I'm making sure to pinch nice and strong so the fluorocarbon doesn't come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie our first knot as close to the lead core as we can get, but I don't wanna be on the lead core because it'll make it too bulky. And we're gonna tie that knot. Just a simple overhand knot. Throughout the entire time. And we had a chainsaw kick up, but we're almost done. So if that's obnoxious, I apologize. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I like it to be pretty close. So lead core is here, my first knot's there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a gentle tug on the leader, just to make sure I grabbed it in that first knot, which I did. And now we're gonna tie a second knot. Same overhand knot, nothing fancy. My leader through. Now we're just gonna work that knot up just a little. I'm gonna snug that down. You could probably run that knot right there with two, but I like to run three just to be safe. So now I'm just gonna push that knot down and we're gonna tighten up. And there you have it, there's your three knots. What I'm gonna do now, this isn't a necessity, but I frayed out that sheathing I'm just going to trim that sheathing off. All right, folks, there you have it. There's a three knot connection, and it is by far my favorite knot. Um, it's strong, it's durable, it's fast, it's easy to tie. It goes through the guides easy. I can tie this in my kayak, I can tie it in a canoe, and it doesn't hold me up and take a bunch of time to tie. It's just easy, strong, durable knot, and uh, it works really well. And with that, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to ask. If you guys use any other knots that you use to tie your leader onto your lead core, feel free to put them down in the comments. But we're going to sign off there, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.